This is question four, the SQA specimen paper, National 5, Mathematics. We're asked to solve this quadratic equation. You know it's a quadratic equation because of the x squared. This paper has no calculator allowed, therefore we're not going to be using the quadratic formula uh, to get some sort of approximate to two decimal places or whatever solution to this. So there is only one way forward, and that is to factorise this quadratic equation. So the method is that we'll find two factors multiplied together give you zero. Two numbers multiplied together being zero, then either this one is equal to zero or this one is equal to zero. One or other of these is equal to zero. And these two simpler equations we then can individually solve. So the main difficulty then is to take this quadratic expression 2x squared plus 7x minus 15 and attempt to factorise it. Now we'll use a reverse uh, foil first outside insides last. In particular we'll look at the firsts. We know that this expression here times this expression here will give us 2x squared. Now there is only one choice for that. We have to have a 2x times an x. So there's our first possibility. A 2x there and an x there. We then look at the 15. Now let's forget about pluses and minuses just now and we'll just look at the number 15 which has various ways of factorising it. It could be a 3 times a 5 or it could be a 1 times a 15. Now, because 2x is different from x, if we put a 3 there and a 5 there, we'll get a different answer if we swap these round. We could have a 5 there, a 3 there. There's another possibility uh, with the 2x and the x there where we use a 1 and a 15. Or, again, different possibility, swapping these round, 15 and 1. So really we have only these four choices. One of these is going to be successful. And it will be successful if the outside 2 multiplied and the inside 2 multiplied, if we can combine these to get us a plus 7x. So in this first case, 2x times 5x gives us, sorry, 2x times 5 gives us 10x, that's the outside 2, and 3 times x gives us 3x. Now, this is looking pretty good. Can we get a plus 7x from this 10x and 3x? Well, yes, we can if we add 10x and subtract 3x. That'll give us 7x. So the 10x coming from these two outsides must be positive. So it's plus 5 times the positive 2x. And the minus 3x coming from the inside to minus 3x. Now we must check, and you always must do this, that we have, when we multiply this out, taken care of the lasts with the negative and positive in place. So basically what you should now do at this stage is just use your FOIL expansion to work out what 2x minus 3 times x plus 5 is and that it does indeed give you 2x squared plus 7x minus 15. So let's do that. So the first 2x times x gives us the 2x squared. The outside 2 give us 10x. The inside 2 gives us negative 3x. 10x minus 3x 7x as we wanted and the lasts which are now minus 3 and positive 5. So negative 3 times positive 5 does give us negative 15. So that is the successful factorization of 2x squared plus 7x minus 15. It's 2x minus 3, that's the first factor, and x plus 5 which is the second factor. 
Now, I'm looking down this list. You might well have um, proceeded with this one first, in which case your outside 2 would have been 6x, 2x times 3, and your inside 2 would have been 5x, 5 times x. And looking at this, 6x and 5x basically cannot combine adding or subtracting in any conceivable way to give us 7x. So you would have known this was uh, not a successful, uh, not going to give you a successful outcome. We, you would have been able to eliminate that. And certainly these ones, it, it's a good idea not to use large factors first. We started off with 3s and 5s, which are smaller than the 15 uh, which appears in these two. It's usually at smaller numbers that are more successful. But nevertheless, list them all, work through the possibilities, always the outsides and insides, to see if they can combine to give you this middle term. So there's the successful factorization. 2x minus 3 might be 0, or x plus 5 might be 0. When you have two numbers, a times b equals 0, then either a is 0 or b is 0. One or other, or maybe both, uh, are 0. So let's tackle 2x minus 3 equals 0. Add 3 to both sides. Divide both sides by 2. Let's tackle x plus 5 equals 0. Take 5 away from both sides. So there are our two solutions. So the solutions are x equals 3 over 2 or x equals minus 5. And I suppose they're both possible solutions.